Where is Brasidas? What do you want with him? We fought together. A friend? Yes, and a friend of Sparta. Now take me to him. Stop! I have orders. Stand guard and wait for reinforcements. They were due two nights ago. You can stop waiting. I've arrived. You? The Athenians are dogs at our throats. You won't talk so tough once you see them. I join you, and all they'll see is the ferryman. Ha! Well met, warrior. You better fight as good as you talk. Come, we go to Brasil. A bad day for Athens! A glorious day for Sparta! And it is one you cannot win. If Rosidas dies, his blood is on your hands. His watch and every one of your friends. You are the wicked man. Stop! Enough! We will not stop. I don't want to kill you, Cassandra, but I will stop you. One of us will die. Isn't that the point? I found Mata. Finally reunited, only to lose each other again! I don't know what you were thinking back there. What? Trying to save you? That's not what that was. I told you to stay out of my way. Yet here you are. 
So, what? I'm a prisoner until I'm killed? That's the plan. Or I could come in there and end you any time I please. But before that, tell me what you know. I thought your cultists told you everything. Sounds like you're on their side, but they're not on yours. You think I'm just a puppet? Then prove it to me. Tell me why I'm on the wrong side. Convince me. I dare you. What do you want to know? Everything you claim to be true. But after this, I kill you. Why was I abandoned that night on the mountain? Abandon you? Is that what you call it? There's no other name for what you did to me. I was left to die. We tried to save you. They decreed my fate, and you accepted it. Matter went after you. What do you mean, after me? She went down the mountain to find you. She had to find you. And what did she find there? After that, we weren't Spartan anymore. We were banished by the Ephors and targeted by the cult. And they got one of us. If they have me, they don't need the rest of you. They want our family gone. All of us. Not one of us left. Then explain why I'm still here. They got to you young. They built you to their benefit. And they built a machine. They don't care what happens to us. Themos, we've been searching for you. And you are here. In the gutter. I hear it shouting. It's nothing. Leave. Now! This was not your action to take, girl. I am not your puppet. And you are not my master. Of course, champion. Any discretion I won't repeat. <clears throat> Keep in mind, you put yourself in the cell. I don't recall doing that. You have to understand. This is all for Athens, Alexius. Pericles would have impoverished the entire city. The people were living in squalor. So you had him murdered? You can't find the perfect yog without breaking some of the quail's eggs. He wasn't right for us. Killing your adversaries proves what kind of leader you are. Oh, I'm just getting started. If only you'd be around to watch. Come into the cell. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Let's see what happens. Fortunately for me, there are other fires I need to extinguish. I have heard word of revolt. Already? That was fast. I have a plan. They can't revolt if they're dead. I don't know how you can take on a band of rebels if you refuse to fight this one. The act itself is out of my hands. The vote has been cast. What did I tell you? The people have given me their blessing. I use their power. That's not democracy. The people have chosen their destiny, Alexius. They've chosen me. Fuck you, Cleo. <laughs> I'm not alone in this. The people of Athens have spoken without me lifting a finger. That is how you treat rebellion. They don't know what they're agreeing to. The cult wins, Alexios. Now, I have to see about the boat heading to Mytilene. Its people are in for a rude awakening.
Good timing. Interesting. Death may be the greatest of human blessings after all. <sighs> At least you tried. Surely it's the thought that counts. Thank the gods you are alive, Alexios. If those guards are not the last, I say we need to leave and do so quickly. Wait, we need to talk about Cleon. Socrates is on to that Malacca. We know what he is doing. Be brief. His equipment for Navas. Come, Farnavas. Alexios, meet us at Pericles' residence. There we'll discuss all we know. Of course I did. Varnavas was ready to go after you again. Like he said, it's the thought that counts, right? Apparently. Come, the others are waiting. We were worried you wouldn't make it. Especially with every Athenian guard looking for you. Cleon will have to do more than that to stop me. What's all this? We've begun working on a plan to take down Cleon. Although I hardly call it a plan. Lots of talking, not much action. It feels different without Pericles. But his inspiration lives on. That's why we're here. Where once we gathered to forget our problems, now we meet them head on. And get back to what truly matters. To restore Athens to its former glory. So you're taking down Cleon? Tell me the plan. It won't be simple. His death would disrupt the peace and be worse for Athens. He's right. We must discredit him first. Aristophanes apparently has some play he thinks will do the job. Some play? It is so much more than that. Oh, don't get your tunic in a twist. I just don't see why we can't all love each other. It's so much more fun that way. What's so special about the play? Will your famous orange ape impression be making an appearance? Ha! <laughs> Funnily enough, that was the inspiration. Isn't it a risk to show him in a bad light in front of his admirers? I think the play will change their minds. Good art is risky, but my plan will work. We can't just sit around. Cleon is sending a boat to Mitalini to kill the people there. The people trust Cleon. They'll vote for whatever action he puts forth. But that does not mean we plan to do nothing. Taking down Cleon won't be easy. But with your help, it will be possible. It's all coming together. I think we have a real chance. It'll be a disaster. A disaster, I tell you. Calm down. What are you talking about? My masterpiece. It will change everything. Amuse, astound. Titillate and open people's eyes to Cleon's machinations, but I need you. I'm no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no. It's Thespis. My leading man is missing. A play with no star is no play at all. How do you know he's missing? He never misses a rehearsal, unless he's drunk, or with a woman, or a man. Could be anything, then. No, he knows how important this is. He wouldn't let me down. Something must be wrong. So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. This shouldn't take long. Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. Stayed. Someone needed to stop Cleon. Fools look backwards in times like these, and you're no fool. For now, we work to save Mitilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since I heard Cleon speak of Mitilini, I have known something was wrong, and I've been taking steps to find out just what. If we know where Cleon is, I should just kill him. 
The problem here does not end with the death of one person. We have the whole of Athens to consider. So, other methods are in play. A student of mine poses as a guard at the Acropolis as we speak. It's an unusual method, but these are desperate times. Then they call for desperate measures. You've always been honest with me. Since we first met and you admitted to tampering with the ostracism vote, you've proven you care about the truth. And that is what I seek now. What if there is nothing to find? Then we will act accordingly. Preparing for an outcome that may never exist helps no one, wouldn't you agree? I can see where this is going, Socrates, and we don't have time for it right now. Aristophanes gave the same excuse, but yes, you're right. If you think there's something at the Acropolis, or find it. There you should find proof of Cleon's offenses. What if the people don't turn against Cleon? They will. I'll be speaking in front of them soon. With your help, we'll show them the man behind the facade. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. Anything else you can tell me about where to look? What I know is Cleon's always loved the statue of Athena. Sounds like a good place to start. I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Pedix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick. Finally, someone who's willing to have some fun. I'm not sure how many more times I can take Socrates rejecting me. I'm sure you'll get through it. Perhaps you can help take my mind off it. We're in the middle of a war. Cleon is wreaking havoc across the land. And you want to have fun? At least until I've spent every ounce of energy I can. Spend it on something more useful, then. What's more useful than releasing some stress in a trying time? I work better when I'm tense. Well, when this is all over with, Perhaps you and I can find a nice, quiet place to unwind. We'll see. Yeah! 
So to get the key, I need to find the Commander Phylos. Muddy tracks. Probably came from someone in the garden. This shovel looks recently used. like someone dug here. Gratis was right. This is exactly what we needed. Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilini is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the police, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us right now to change their minds. So, you'll join me? Talking to the people may not be enough. We need to show them why following Cleon is wrong. I'm surprised to hear you suggest such an idea. Desperate times. Isn't that what you said? So I did. Follow my lead and respond as if you're one of Cleon's supporters, not mine. I'll do my best. But Socrates, Cleon is a man of the people. Tell me. If you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am. What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? That's ridiculous. I'm not harming the person. Someone else is. Would the person not have been safe from harm otherwise? From me, at least, yes. Then you admit you bear responsibility for that harm, for you have still participated in it, even if indirectly. I suppose I do. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So let me ask you another question. Who should you trust, the many or the one who has more expertise? The majority is always right. And who is informing the majority? I suppose we're following the one at the top. And if you found out the person at the top had lied to the people you follow, what would you do? Everyone makes mistakes. I would continue to follow them. It's only natural to believe the person you follow is worth your loyalty. However, those who are untrustworthy do not deserve to lead. Yes, you're right. So, you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course! Oh, Athenians! Would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another, even through someone else? I would! And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not! Above all things, therefore, I beg 
and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilene, and we have the proof he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilene, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands, too. The ship must be stopped. That probably could have gone better, but even so, I believe the people are unable to deny the proof we presented. All we did was talk. What we did was far more. We used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt Cleon, but hopefully save countless lives. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. You don't look like an actor, unless you're playing an Athenian guard. I... I... Hush! I'm going to ask some questions, and you're going to answer. But Commander Rexenor... What's your name? Bullis. Well, Bullis. It's your choice whether you walk out of here. Do you understand? Yes. Tell me, what are you looking for? Some stupid play. They don't tell me anything. Play? I just do what I'm told, and they told me to destroy the manuscript. What have you done with Thespis? S some of the boys are meant to keep him drunk in the tavern down the street. You'd better be telling me everything. All I know is they wanted to keep this actor busy. See for yourself, he's at the tavern. You sure that's all? I just follow the commander's orders. I don't ask questions. Get out of here and count yourself lucky. Thank you. Thank you. I said to him, had enough. And what business is it of yours, friend? Yeah, what business? Oh, look at you. You'd best be leaving. I'm just here for Thespis. He's drunk and I need to get him home. What are you, his matter? Let's say extended family. I don't think you understand the situation. Commander Raksanor's orders are his not to leave. I said I'd stay. Don't want trouble. Give me this piece, and I'll give you something in return. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Here, for your troubles. I'll look after him now. Ha! A fool and his drachmi. Very well. You won't see us again. I's not feeling too good. He said, you're behind the mask, you'll be perfectly safe, he said. You so strong, Ekaterini. Whee! Giddy up! My parents said you'll either be an actor or a drunk. <laughs> I fooled them, I became... Thank you, but you can go no further. For I know true love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't. I won't perform without her. You will perform. Uh-uh, not without a Caterini. A divine name for a divine body. I mean being. Those men in the tavern, who are they? Oh, the admirers? Harmless, really. And I do like a man in uniform. You need to sober up. 
this play is important. Soze Caterini, I need my muse. Please, she's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means you'll do the play, I'll find your muse. Hmm, not my usual type. Too many muscles. But if you've got a drachmi, we can come to an arrangement. Thespis said I'd find you here. Ah, my darling Thespis, an artist in so many ways. But let's talk about us. I thought you were Thespis's great love. That is love. This is commerce. So, what are you into? No. Thespis wants you to go to him. He needs you to help him perform tomorrow. Thespis does love to perform, but he'll be doing it without me this time. But you're his muse? Commander Exenor has made it clear it would cost me my life if I were to associate with Thespis right now. I've been hearing about this Commander Exenor a lot recently. He's one of Cleon's favorite dogs. I've heard stories from some of the girls. Likes to play dress-up, got a fancy robe and mask. Likes to hurt people, too. I'm sorry. He runs the local garrison. His men are always here. They'd tell him in an instant if I was gone. Why would this commander threaten you? It's all to do with this stupid play. They're doing everything they can to protect Cleon's image. Still, to threaten you. Actors are a superstitious bunch. Commander Exenor knows Thespis won't perform without his muse waiting in the wings. Don't worry. I'll deal with Commander Exenor. You don't understand what a bastard he is. He's more than just some Athenian soldier. What do you mean? Secret meetings, strange visitors. He gives me the creeps. You'll have to kill him. There's no other option. If I do this, will you go to Thespis? It'd be my pleasure. Where can I find the commander? In the barracks across the street to the north. The girls have to visit him there when he wants servicing. Doesn't have the stamina to come down here. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Bring me back his little sword as proof. <sighs> I'll be back soon. Let no man be called happy before his death. There seems little Till doubt then, that Rexenor is aligned with the happy. cult of Cosmos. Only lucky. Sharp watch here. Yeah. I hope no one worries you. Is this proof enough of his death? Not quite the sword I meant, but as long as he's dead. My part is done. Go make sure Thespis is at the theater in time for his performance. You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun. Or is it always business with you? Is it with you? So blood does pulse in those veins. It roars. But what of Thespis? 
Thespis is an actor. Half the girls here have been his muse at one time or another. Now, we need to worry about Thespis and Aristophanes' play. This play is important to you. With it, we hope to make change. For the better. I can see there is more in your eyes. But we are all entitled to our secrets. It's enough for you to know that I plan to stop men like Commander Exenor and Cleon. Too far, Socrates. Pericles gave everything to Athens. Yet, we must still hear of Cleon's greatness. Aristophanes, have you not done seemly things to Hermippos? How dare you compare me to that man? His plays are a nuisance. Something I could come up with in an afternoon, and a drunken one at that. Mine are for a clever audience. The same audience you judge. Should it not be clever enough? Careful, Socrates. Else I make you a character in one of my plays. Do you agree with Socrates that Hermippos should say what he wants? Most people should keep their words to themselves, including Hermippos. What if you believe Hermippos should not be given the right to speak, but others do? Who then decides what speech is allowed? It is a dangerous path to tread. And one I clearly must. How can you stand up for Hermippos when he attacks Pericles is beyond me. I stand up for no one, only truth and freedom of speech. If you have such an issue with Hermippos, why not do something about it yourself? I'd like to, but I haven't been able to find him. Maybe you'd have better luck. It can't be that hard to find Hermippos. That's what I thought as well. Maybe he's afraid I'll find him. Once Hermippos is in front of you, what are you going to say? I'm not entirely sure yet, but I promise you it will be a grand spectacle. It almost sounds like you're jealous of Hermippos. Ha! Huh. Me? Envious of him? Making someone sad is easy, but making someone laugh takes true skill and talent. Wherever Hermippos is, I'll find him. I hope you do. His residence would be a good place to start. Doesn't look like army poses here. I should take a look around. Money for someone like Hermippos. Explains his residence, at least. <laughs> Looks like Cleon made notes for Hermippos on his play. Everyone's a writer. from the cult of Cosmos. Hermippos must be a member. What is it? I couldn't find Hermippos, but I did find out something about him. He's a member of the cult of Cosmos. Then it's no wonder he attached himself so closely to Cleon. Discrediting Pericles and his beliefs in Athens would benefit Hermippos and the cult, I'd imagine. 
Ermipos is definitely a problem. Do you still believe he should say what he wants, Socrates? I know not what I think, nor what I know. Ah, yes, you deserve a play of your own. He's fine, and he'll be fit to perform your play tomorrow. Oh, thank the gods! I know what actors can be like. Compared to what I'm used to, it was a breath of fresh air. That is so good to hear. Here, for your troubles. The people may be the heart of Athens, but my play will be his voice. And for our children, if Cleon should perish, you also know what a pig's education he has had. Such insults! And to think I was going to propose a statue to be erected in the city to each of you for your bravery! See! He treats us like all daughters and grows at our feet to deceive us. But the cunning wherein his power lies shall this time recoil on himself. Ah! Alas! The conspirators are murdering me! The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Alexios! Prasida sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphipolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So what are you going to do? Brasidas needs my help. I plan on giving it to him. Though, should our paths cross, I won't hesitate to kill Cleon. Whatever you decide, remember he's only a man. I can't promise anything. Be safe. Brasidas. Alexios, good to see you. Alive. Bilos didn't go as planned. At least they didn't get my battle arm. I'm glad you're all right. I was happy to get your message. I'm happy it got to you in time. Tell me what happened after the battle. They found me wounded. I was taken back to Sparta and given time to heal. My leg won't be the same, but they didn't kill me. No Spartan got off easy. I was captured and brought to Athens. Athens? That rubs salt into the wound. Proof there's still work to be done. There always is. So Cleon's here. 
He's close, somewhere outside the city walls. He intends to take Amphipolis. For once, he plans to fight with his men. He was disgraced in Athens. He needs to win back their respect. A chance at retribution? Can't let that happen, can we? Cleon's here. We need to move. Easy. First, we need to find him. We're outnumbered, and our spies say he's already sent for Athenian reinforcements. All the more reason to act. You've proven yourself. It's a risk, but I trust you. We're going to stop Cleon. I give you my word. Good. Let's move quickly. Today, we give everything we have. No giving up. Personally, 
Unfortunately for you. Alexios, come now. So mercy. You turned her against us. My own sister. We lifted Themos up. We made her great. Unstoppable. You made her a monster. Then fight by her side. Teacher, you would have Themos once again. Her name is Cassandra. I beg you, this world is severed, Alexios, and we'll unite it. Shut the fuck up! My hands are empty. Have pity. You will die, just as you lived. Uh, as a coward. I'm not through. I won't be forgotten for all I've done. Uh. You're not worth the memory. That's it then. My lamb, you've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. Vimos killed him in battle. And what of my daughter? Cleon fired an arrow into Vimos' back. The wound didn't look fatal. She could still be alive. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mother, there's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taeyetos, where it all began. My whole life's been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. Stay safe, Alexios. Stay safe, Alexios. Stay safe, Alexios. <laughs> name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult. I tried to save you. I did everything. The priests told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your daughter. Cassandra, come to me. We are your family. 
go home. Family. Home. <laughs> My sword is my family. The battlefield is my home. I promised to bring her back, Mater. But the cult has poisoned her mind. Promised to bring me back to Mater, did you? <laughs> you didn't bring me here. Why don't you tell our Mater the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with a destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a broken spear. The cult controls your destiny, but you don't need them. Together, we can destroy them and bring peace back to this world. Peace? And what under Ilios would you do with yourself if there was peace? Milk the goats? <laughs> Look at you! Oh, mighty Mistios! You profit from this war as much as I do. You don't want peace. You just don't want to deal with me. What I want, what I've always wanted, is my family. When I was little, I found a lion cub trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in a world of beasts, a family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead, and my destiny is clear. I won't let you get in my way. Cassandra! Listen to me. You're my sister. I tried to protect you once, and I failed. I won't fail again. We all have, Cassandra.
Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. There's more to being the best than pure strength. That's an excuse for the weak. I'll show you who's weak. Well, at least the family is all together. I'll get more wine. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? I can't believe I have a family again. The gods work in mysterious ways. You never know what they have planned. Someone's kept their eye on me. You're special! Look at the life they've blessed you with! Not so bad, if you think of it all. That's optimistic, considering. Just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you. <laughs> 